So after one step of dividing by y cubed and multiplying by dx, we've earned our one point for separating variables. Next, I'll integrate both sides. Integral of x is x squared over 2. Integral of 1 over y cubed is like y to the negative 3. So we add 1 and get y to the negative 2 and then divide by negative 2. Oftentimes you'd see that written as 1 over negative 2y squared equals x squared over 2 plus c. With fairly little work, we've earned four points out of six on the rubric for our antiderivatives and our plus c. Now I will use my initial condition of x equals 1 when y equals 2 to find c. Adding one half or subtracting one half from both sides is like subtracting four eighths, and when you do, you get a constant of negative five eighths. Now we're five sixths of the way through the rubric. The last part is pretty tricky, so watch carefully. I've plugged in everything in my initial condition, and now I will multiply both sides by negative two, getting one over y squared equals negative x squared. plus 5 over 4. Now I can't just flip these over until I have a common denominator on the other side. So this would be the same as negative 4x squared plus 5 all over 4 equals 1 over y squared. Now I can flip numerator and denominator and get y squared over 1 equals 4 on top and negative 4x squared plus 5 on the bottom. Square root on both sides. y, y equals plus or minus 2 over the square root of 5 minus 4x squared. Because the initial condition was at the point over 1 up 2, we can use just the positive root and ignore the negative root. This is your final answer. Your practice problem is top left, or your correction problem, with the initial condition of f of 1 equals 2, a similar but different differential equation.